I thought the interactive whiteboard activities were very useful and as a non-scientist I found that they gave me some good ideas and they were useful in the stimulus. Um, the children came out with some more ideas of their own and they enjoyed um, actually completing the interactive activities. I thought using the data numbers was an excellent idea. Um, our children were not used to using them in primary schools, so they were very excited to be using what they thought were grown up um, instruments. And they were able to use them very effectively, I thought, and they, um, used, they were able to read the readings quite accurately. Demetrius is going to stick it right there, like that, then Hallam's going to read the other cartoons. Hallam's not going to read it well, and it's not going to be too low or too high, it's just going to be right there. And then we'll be telling the other ones. 18. Okay. 18 was the highest number. And then, then we write it down, and then we have to write it down on the paper, and then we have to choose different cartoons. Yeah. And that's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> choose because it doesn't let more sound through but for your we, we don't want to choose because it let more sound through so we choose cotton to make yeah. Yeah. so the assessment for learning bar chart was very easy to use um, it was colorful and after um, a demonstration the children picked the ideas up very well actually on the whiteboard and then they created their own pieces in terms of What's the number for cotton wool? 72. 72. That's enough. Yeah. Right, well, the next one is tin foil. Tin foil. Right, how we change it is we the highlight. No, we highlight this and then, then press the delete button and then write um, whatever it is. It, it's cotton. And then you type in cotton. C O T O X. So we use the electronic bar chart. Um, it's good, just good use of IT skills for the children. Also, it's more interactive. It was very quick. They understood the maths behind it. And um, we put our information in, made the bar chart and printed it up in about 10 minutes. And the results were excellent. We looked at some examples of real blogs on the web and the children were very impressed. So we thought the paper blog would be a good way of recording our results and sharing our ideas with the other scientific groups and perhaps within the school as well. And we um, used post-its to write comments on each other's blogs when we'd finished actually. Quite a challenge for them, and there's a lot of literacy involved. Um, 
um, but they use the work that we've done previously and I think the end results are worth it. could be useful if NGFL can we could post our blog posts on their blog. Um, it could be a bit exciting way for the children to share comments on the work that we've done and also it would be great for the parents to see the work that we've been engaged in and maybe they could post their comments as well.